Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, uh, chapter four. Uh, we'll be working with file processing within chapter four. Uh, the, we've talked about this a little bit already. So a flat file is a um, simple text file. It is non, uh, there, there is no internal formatting within it for bolding or underlines. It's a simply, it's uh, an ASCII based text file. Now, there, especially with what we'll work with, there are a couple different kinds of flat files. So a variable length record uh, file, and that's like a database file, but it's holding information, but what we're doing is separating the, the fields out based upon the delimiter. In this case, a delimiter is a colon. Now, a CSV format, comma separated value format, is the same idea, it simply replaces the, the colon with a comma. Uh, and actually, you re if you use the term CSV, um, it could refer to a colon as a delimiter, a comma as a delimiter, anything else as a delimiter. So just be aware of that. A fixed length record is this is the same file, the same information. However, we have columns, 219, and then we have a space. So four is that space. And that's it's not a delimiter, but it's acting as a separator. And then we have columns five through seven. It, our number is 432. Again, we have that space that's acting. It's not a delimiter. It's acting as a separator. So um, in this particular example, all of the records or all of the columns, if you will, are at a fixed length. Okay, so we have uh, flat files contain typically uh, just simply ASCII characters. When we're talking about records of information within flat files, they can be del delimited or variable length and fixed length. Okay, uh, remember that we can use the greater than and double greater than signs to redirect or append input um, uh, into a file, like the screen output into a file. The greater than sign creates a new file, the double greater than signs um, append. Now we can also take, put commands into a particular um, file and then redirect those commands and have those executed right away when we run a file within VI so that we can do that as well. We're going to manipulate files in a number of different ways, probably the, the most um, um, well, some of the most con more confusing would be com uh, combining files, extracting fields, and sorting files. It, it's simple, but it, yet it's a little confusing because it's a little cryptic within Linux. Now, now we have uh, touch as a command, uh, and the main purpose of the command is just simply change the file's timestamp. Let's take a look at that. So, um, let's see, ls-l, I think it was accounts, um, Accounts file two. File two. So that shows us what that timestamp is, 1222. So if we touch accounts file two and look at the look at the file again with a long display, we can see that this particular timestamp has been updated. Okay, so that's really what touch does. Uh, deleting files, we've done that before previously. Uh, RM or RMDIR, you can remove an empty directory. Uh, RM-R removes an on, a non-empty directory, so it'll delete all the files within the directory first and then delete the directory. Now we can use copy commands. Um, in this case, we're going to copy, uh, copy one, two, and three into, this is a folder called duplicates. It's a directory called duplicates. So we can copy all three files into duplicates. So make uh, directory duplicates. And then I'm going to come over here and just grab a copy of this. And back to my terminal. Paste the command, copy these three into duplicates. Change directory to duplicates, and there they are. Now we can also combine files. So if we cat copy one and copy two and redirect it in the total research, okay. So cat copy one and copy two and redirect it in the total research. We should be able to cat or view total research. 
Um, okay, so, uh, and that copy one contained text that said copy one. Copy two contained text that said copy two. So um, that's what we're looking at in total research. Okay, on to the next piece. We have, we're gonna combine files using a paste command. And, and paste puts files together in a columnar format. So we have a couple different files, uh, v1 and v2, and we're gonna paste them together here. So let's verify a cat v1, we have that, cat uh, v2, and then we're just gonna simply paste v1 and v2 together. Okay, so we can see that pasting right there, and it puts it together in a columnar format. Now, if you want to direct, redirect that uh, into another file, you can simply redirect into combined. Okay, um, and then we'll cat combined. Once again, uh, things are pasted together. It's a little odd. I'm going to remove combined because I may need to use it later. Um, so that's pasting. Now let's go ahead and um, use a paste option with a delimiter. So instead of how we had the spaces, we're going to put a delimiter in between there. All right. So uh, paste, I have to type that command in, uh, dash D. What is my delimiter? And in this case, it's going to be a comma for a CSV format. And then my files and then redirect it into V dash delimited. Okay. V1, V2, redirect to V dash delimited. Okay. We'll cat V dash delimited. Oops. And we can see then the, the comma has been put in there. Uh, this would be handy where you have a couple different lists of students and you're pulling different files and you're trying to put them together. You're probably going to join them first. Um, well, we are, we're going to put them together. There are two, two separate kinds of information that we may go ahead and put together on a line by line format. That's how this works is a line by line format. Uh, we can join later on, but, uh, we can go ahead and put those two separate types of information together on a line-by-line -line format. They have to line up that way. Okay, uh, so we, we've, looked at, we've looked at paste, and you know what we're going to do with this. I'm going to go ahead. We're at eight minutes. I'm going to save this. This is part one, and I'll bring you back in just a second.